In the previous lecture, we discussed a relativistic equation for kinetic energy. Now let's actually apply that concept, that equation, to the following example. So, a subatomic particle with a mass of 5 times 10 to negative 28 kilograms is accelerated to a velocity of 0.85 c, where c is the speed of light in a vacuum. Now, we want to calculate the kinetic energy of this particle by using the classical approach and the relativistic approach. So let's begin with the classical approach. So the classical equation for kinetic energy of an object is given by one-half mass times velocity squared. Now mass is 5 times 10 to negative 28 kilograms and the velocity is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, the C value, multiplied by 0.85 and we square that. So we plug these values into our calculator and we see that our energy of the particle based on the classical equation is 1.63 times 10 to negative 11 joules. Now, let's move on to the relativistic equation, which is given by this formula. So, the kinetic energy of the particle is equal to mc squared divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared minus mc squared, where this is the rest mass energy of our particle. So, we plug in our values, we see that this term is given here. Notice the c squares will cancel. So if we plug these into our calculator, we get a value of positive 8.54 times 10 to negative 11 joules. And the rest mass energy is 4.5 times 10 to negative 11 joules. So we subtract these values and we find that the kinetic energy of our particle is 4.04 times 10 to negative 11 joules. So, notice that this quantity that is given by the relativistic equation is about twice as large as the quantity that is suggested by the classical equation and in fact the classical equation does not give us the correct value because this particle has a very high velocity. If the velocity of the particle is close to the velocity of light, then we must use the relativistic equation and not the classical equation. So, this is the correct value. So, once again, note that the relativistic equation gives us the correct result. The classical equation does not work for particles moving at very high speeds.